doing section 4.3, problem 1. It says find um, f of g of x and g of f of x if uh, f of x is equal to this, 9x squared minus 11x. I'm going to get a better marker. That's better. Okay. Um, g of x is equal to 2 square root x plus 2. So let's see. f of g of x first. Remember what this is. We want to take the g function and insert it into the x function wherever we see an x. So we're going to get 9 times, we'll take that whole thing, 2 square root x plus 2 squared minus 11 times square root. Oops, 11 times 2. Let me see if I can I'll have to erase that. I've got to plug the whole function in there, so times uh, 2 square root x plus 2. Okay, then we'll simplify this a little bit. Um, we're going to get 9. Now remember, when you square something like this, you square everything within there. So we're going to get 4, and then squaring the square root makes that go away, so we get x plus 2. And then here we're going to get minus 22 square root x plus 2. So let's simplify this a little bit. We're going to get, uh, that's 36 times x plus 2 minus 22 square root x plus 2. So that's good enough. If you wanted to distribute the 36, you certainly could. We'll just leave it like that. So now for the other way around, g of f of x, we want to now take the f function, that whole thing, and insert it into the g function. So we'll get uh, 2 times the square root of, we're taking that whole thing, and that's the only x that we see, so we just plug it in there. So we get 9x squared minus 11x. Increase my radical a little bit there. So that's the whole function plugged into the x. We still have that plus 2 there. So there we go. And there's really not too much you can do to simplify that, so we'll just leave that the way it is.